In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how you can make text from a title appear on the screen as though it were typed in an old-fashioned way, like letters on a piece of paper, along with accompanying audio. Please look at the following example, and then we'll show you how to do this yourself. I have on track number one a video. It just has crime scene tape and it has some flashing colors to highlight that. So what I'd like to do is put this kind of title somewhere near the beginning. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to my titles room. I'll click on the T in the upper left corner and I'm going to choose the simplest one to modify. So I'm in the plain text category and I'm going to choose a default my title and drag that down and put it in track two a little bit into my clip. Then I have to make some changes. To do that, I click on the blue edit button above the timeline. And here I have animation options and title options. Let's work on title options first. I want to change the font to look kind of old fashioned. So Courier is a font that most Windows systems have. I'm going to type in C. Here mine happens to be Courier Prime. That's good enough. I'll press enter. And now I've got that old style title text on the screen. I'm going to move it over to the left side and we'll change the content. We will say the murder happened at 4.30 p.m. on Monday, June 8th. That's enough text. So Let's see how we can make it appear on the screen in an old fashioned kind of way. To do that, I have to animate it. So I'm going to go to my animation button and I want my in animation to be the one we're going to use. And we have one called typewriter. So we'll click on that and it immediately begins to animate that. But the animation's pace is not what I want. So I'm going to click on the advanced button in the lower right corner of my title controls. That'll open up my entire page. And here you see we have the timeline for this. If you do not see the screen, that's because it's reduced. It will look like this. All you have to do is click on the blue up arrow and you can see the panel underneath. So the one thing we're going to do is change the duration of our in animation. That's this area in the darker green. Right now, if I hover over it, you see it's one second long. And indeed, we're using the typewriter in animation. So to make it a little more realistic, you can't type that fast. I'm going to expand it quite a bit. And then let's go back to the beginning and play this and see what happens. That's a little more realistic. It's a very fast typist to be sure. So you can adjust it according to your preferences and tastes, but that will work. So we'll click on OK. So now we have our text coming on in this old fashioned style and we have it moving on letter by letter after a fashion, but we need some sound. So what I'm going to do is close the panel on the left side that modify my title and we're going to go to media we're going to need a sound. Now I'm clicking on the one that's called Sound Effects in my copy of PowerDirector 365. And I'm going to look for one that has something to do with keyboard or typing. You see I've, I've put some of these in before. And if you haven't, you can just type them in. If you want to remove any of them, you just click the X and it won't remember your searches. But I prefer using a search. It's a lot faster. I'll just do keyboard. And here is some of the stuff that we have. Typing on a keyboard, typing sequence slow and hard, hard. Let's listen to this one. Okay, that will work. Now, if you want something that is the sound of an old-fashioned typewriter with the, the metal letters banging on a roller, you will have to get that kind of audio from the internet. I went looking and there are some under free sounds that you can get that sound a lot like that. We're going to just use what's inside of PowerDirector, but all you have to do is Google that and you probably can find something that will suit your taste. So I'm going to take this one for now and take and drag it down and put it on this track. And now what I have to do is I have to watch where I stop 
with my letters because the sound will continue for the duration of the track and I need to trim it. Okay, after June 8th, and I'll just, I'll just move my playhead back till the period disappears. That's good, right about there. And if I want, I can hit the M key and give myself a marker. But what I want to do is trim only the keyboard sound effect. So I'm going to highlight that clip. And then I'm going to do Control T. It will split it where my playhead is. I'll just delete the last half of it. So the sound will end right there. And so when I go all the way back to the beginning and play it as we have it. So it seems to work. Now there's another option I should alert you to. There's one other thing you can do if you want to modify the sound. I can click on the sound. I can click on edit. And here I can go into my audio speed controls. I'll click on that. And then here as you have your length, you can either speed up or slow down the typing style from the sample that you have to make it a little more specific if that's indeed what you want to do. So you can tweak the sound as well as you can either increase the length of the way in which the title appears on the screen, increase its duration or reduce its duration. So you have two controls you can use back and forth to modify that. Here's a tip. You don't have to get it perfect because it doesn't have to reflect every single sound for every single key. People won't really notice. If you're close, it's good enough. There's so much else going on visually in the scene that they're not going to pay attention to try to count the keystrokes. So anything close will work. That's the way in which you can apply this in CyberLink PowerDirector to get that kind of effect.